Okay, hello everyone. Today we're gonna uh, see how to open up uh, port and port forwarded. Uh, uh, program I will use will be Radmin. Uh, so first of all, type Radmin to see if you have uh, already installed Radmin, and then again to see if you have the server. So I have the Radmin viewer and the server. I'm gonna start the server. Okay, services is already started. Okay. Uh, we have to open it uh, in the firewall. So go to run and type firewall.cpl. Okay. Then go to advanced settings. Then go to in inbound rules. Try to find here admin. I don't have that service that rule here. So go to new rule. Okay, program. Okay, next. And found. Uh, your program name which is in your directory my 64 directory so it's in this folder maybe you all will be some other some difference okay next 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 and just type name and that will be fine finish now again try to find a red redmin you have it here right click on them and go to properties this is some properties that he have. So scope who can connect to him locally and remotely any IP address and the user which is any user can uh, connect to him. A domain private and public. So we have um, full full access. So the next things uh, thing we have to uh, go is uh, to our uh, router and open up uh, the file, uh, open up the port. So we have to know uh, the router IP. So we're gonna go to CMD and type IP config and pipe it with more. Okay. And uh, default gateway is our router address and IP address R is uh, this one five five. So go to router. You can open up your internet browser and just put name uh, up. Okay. Uh, type your password. Uh, so my router is going uh, so have to go to advanced to virtual servers port forwarding and then type your application so I'll call it Redmin. Okay port will will go to four nine 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 again four nine 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 Redirect to 4999 to 4999. Internal my uh, my IP address my internal IP address is uh, as we say uh, 55. So 55 and select uh, let's say 55. Uh, it's same thing. Okay and add. So he adds. I'm gonna save that configuration and apply. Okay. Uh, now we go to to uh, site you get signal.com port forwarding test and then type here 4999. Check. So we have a port opened. Okay. That's all for today and see you next time.